Hi guys, my name is Victoria. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my method for sticking to my goals. I've named this method Spreadsheet Your Life. I know that's kind of a silly name, but it's something that has worked for me for some things before, or at least I, I started with it and then it kind of dropped off. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it again and this time I'm going to really try to stick to it. And I'm going to explain the whole process just so you understand it and I'm going to make the spreadsheet that I use available for you guys to download or Google Docs. So the main idea behind this spreadsheet that I've made is that if you want to stick to your goals there are two things that you have to set for yourself. You have to determine a specific time and a specific place to increase your chances of actually doing the thing that you said you were going to do. The purpose of this spreadsheet is to keep track of certain things that you want to do once a day and other things that you want to do once a week. And it's set up so that when you go through each day you put a well, you would put a one in the box if you completed the action that you wanted to do for a daily thing, and a seven in a box if it was something that you have to do for a week, and then it tallies up the number of ones and sevens and all of that, and through some mathematical formulae, it will create a percentage of how often you've completed your goals. Now, the idea of this is not to just keep track of how often you do something, but um, the way that it should work is that if you complete the things that you wanted to do every day, maybe at like a 50% level or less than that, then you can stop and have a look at those things and try to figure out what's getting in the way. Like, what are the things that prevent you from doing something on that specific day and then you have to try and do something that's different. And because of that, like in, instead of just thinking, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow or whatever, or, well, number one, this, the spreadsheet prevents you from putting things off until the next day because you still have to make a check mark for the next day. So if you don't do it today, you don't get a check mark or a one in the box or anything. So you have to do it today at some point. And if you go several days in a row where you're not, where you're not making a check mark or anything, then you have to stop and you have to have a conversation with yourself about why that isn't happening. So you have to figure out, you know, what's, what's getting in the way? Do you feel like you don't have enough time? How can you make extra time? What's, what's a different time that you can plan to do something and you try that new method the next week and if you're still running into the same problem then you have to try to find a different solution and you know it's it's just a way of kind of helping you to think about things differently so instead of just saying oh i'll do it tomorrow or like this will happen tomorrow for sure i promise blah 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 you're gonna actually figure out what it is that is preventing you from actually doing these things and when you try something new and that doesn't work, and you try something new and that doesn't work, and then you try something new and that does work, then, you know, it's it's a much better process than just saying to yourself, oh, I'll definitely do it tomorrow. It's, it's a lot more concrete, it's something that you can work with, and it's something that you can kind of hold yourself accountable for. So I'm going to now show you how this spreadsheet works, and hopefully this is something that you can find useful, and yeah, as I said, I'll leave a link where you can download this spreadsheet or access it through Google Docs. And if you do use it, I would like to know how it works for you. So if it, like, whether it works or not, I want to know. So leave a comment down below and tell me what worked, what didn't work, what was annoying about it, anything like that. I just, I want your feedback. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to use the spreadsheet that I've set up to help you complete your goals. So 
this is what the summary page looks like. Um, you've got a list of goals here, and it just says goal one through nine. Now you can change these, but you don't want to change them on this page. If you try to edit anything here, it should give you a, a pop-up saying, don't do that. I'll just delete that there. Okay, so you don't want to change anything on this page because everything that I have here is connected to the data page. So all of these things will automatically pull from the, the data page. So you want to put everything into there. Now, how to access this page? You have to go, or there will be a, a link for this spreadsheet in the video description below. So um, you just put the link into your um, address bar. It'll be this link at the top here. Now, um, I'm signed in under a separate Gmail account just to show you what it what you are capable of doing when you have um, this link available to you. So it's currently view only. So what you have to do is go to file and make a copy. That way this will stay as a template and everybody can use the template and you're not putting in your information where everybody can see. So you put in whatever name you want for the copy of the, the document you're working on. So we'll just call this the spreadsheet your life file. And then once you've made a copy of that, then you can start editing things. So as you can see, when you click on the file button here, you have a whole bunch more options available to you. You can edit everything in the spreadsheet. So what you want to do is go into the data sheet and then change the names of your goals at the top. So if I say that one of my goals is that I want to sketch from life once a day, <clears throat> then I just enter that in at the top there. And if I go back to my summary page, that'll come up here automatically. So how this spreadsheet works is that for the daily goals, for whatever day of the month it is, if you did that particular goal, then you enter in a one. If you didn't do anything, you don't, or if you didn't do that particular goal that day, you don't enter anything. You just put a one for every day that you completed your goal. And how this is set up is that it will take the, the total amount. Sorry, I'll show. So it'll take the total amount at the bottom here, and it will divide it by the current date. So as you go through the month, it'll show you the current percentage of how often you're completing your goals. And I find that's really helpful. So uh, if I see that one thing is a lot lower than the others, then I know that that's something that I have to focus on. Another thing that you can do is put in the when and where of how you want to do this goal. So the reason for that is if you make a more concrete plan for when and where you're going to do these things, it'll help you to remember to do them. So instead of just saying that sometime tomorrow I'm going to sketch from life, you say, okay, um, 
perhaps while or I'll say on my break from work. And then where I could even put in the park on my way home. And then that's a very specific time and place to um, set out to do this. I mean, you could do it whenever, like, I don't know. It, it doesn't have to be that specific, but it does help. Um, yeah, instead of just saying sometime tomorrow, you have something more concrete and it makes it less likely that you're going to procrastinate. So again, you put the information here on the data sheet, and if you go back to the summary page, it'll automatically update that here. So everything is all in one screen on the summary page. All of the information should be here. Now, let's say you go through the month and you've put in your ones. Let's just put a bunch in here. So one, it's a couple days. Great. So let's say that it looks like this and you're only at 39% completion. So then you can take a look at your, um, your plan for when and where and try to figure out why that isn't working so well. So is it that, you know, I don't actually have that much time on my break from work and I feel too rushed, I just want to go home and eat? Well, then I need to, to change the time that I'm deciding to sketch from life because that's clearly not working. Um, so you, you make those changes and then you see, am I completing my goals any more than I was before, and if you are, then you can keep up with that. If not, then you have to make a different change. Like you have to continue to, I guess, hold yourself accountable and not just do the same thing every day, but try to find actual solutions to your problems and make it a priority to actually do these things once every day. Um, so that's basically how that will work. Um, and then for the weekly goals, because you're only doing these once a week, you would put in a seven for the number. And that'll help with the, the math. It's, it's not going to be exact or whatever, because like if you have four weeks in a month and you put four sevens, it comes up to 28. So it'll be less than 100%, but it'll still give you a general idea of how often you're doing things. And I think that that's beneficial. So for the weekly ones, perhaps you just want to put um, like the, the day of the week. So let's say on Mondays, perhaps in the afternoon, and I don't know, in the art room, since that's where most of my art is happening. Perhaps I want to uh, complete one uh, art project. Great. So that'll, that'll come up here the when, the where, what the goal is, and how often you complete it. So if you did it once in a month, it'll show up as 30% if you're at August 23rd. So yeah, I think that's just the, the general idea. Um, and if you don't have Google Docs, you don't have to make an account or anything. You can just download the file by going to file at the top and then download as, and you can download it as an Excel spreadsheet or um, open document format or, or whatever. 
So you can download this spreadsheet and be able to use it offline, I believe. I haven't actually tested this out, but I'm pretty confident that it works. I don't know. You guys will have to try it out and let me know how that works for you. But what I really like about using Google Docs for this is that you can download the spreadsheet app on your smartphone if you have a smartphone and then you have access to the spreadsheet wherever you are and you don't have to always go to your computer to update your information. You can do it wherever you are and that doesn't actually take that long, just a couple minutes or whatever. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much all I need to say about this. So that's how it works.